very well about quadrilaterals uh, quadrilaterals means a uh, polygon which are having four sides or uh, polygon which are having four sides these are the some examples for quadrilaterals some examples for quadrilaterals now properties of quadrilaterals properties of quadrilaterals first uh, quadrilateral means polygons which are having four sides first i am taking square square all the four sides equal all the four sides equal four angles uh, right angles opposite sides are equal opposite angles are equal so so many properties are there second one rectangles opposite sides are equal all the four angles are 90 degrees diagonals are in equal length here diagonals are in equal length so these are the some properties of uh, rectangle next uh, important one parallelogram important one parallelogram and one more important sum of interior angle in any quadrilateral sum of interior angles in a quadrilaterals is equal to how many degrees 360 degrees you can take any quadrilateral sum of interior angles is equals to 360 degrees now coming to parallelogram what are the properties of parallelogram? Opposite sides are equal. Parallelogram. Opposite sides are equal. So another pair of opposite sides also equal. Next to opposite side lengths are equal. Opposite side lengths are equal so this two this two opposite side and these two opposite sides are equal so these are some properties of square rectangle quadrilateral uh, parallelogram rhombus sky trapezium you have different different properties for quadrilaterals now we are we are going to discuss about parallelogram that's why i am highlighting quadrilateral uh, properties of parallelogram only now any two adjacent angles of adjacent angles of a parallelogram adjacent sides of a parallelogram is equals to 180 degrees any two adjacent these two adjacent sides equal to 180 or these two sides is equal to 180 or these two sides sum is equal to 180 or these two sides sum is equal to 180 so overall total how many degrees 360 degrees sum of interior angles sum of interior angles in a quadrilateral is equal to 360 degrees and the special properties for parallelogram opposite angles equal opposite sides equal adjacent angles is equal to adjacent angle sum is equal to 180 degrees these are the some properties of parallelogram some properties of parallelogram now some problems on uh, parallelogram topic based on parallelogram topic so here the first problem is already uh, this kind of problems we solved uh, sum of interior angles in a triangle if it is 40 90 70 so what is the angle value sum of interior angles all the angles x plus 40 plus 90 plus 70 degrees is equal to 360 degrees we know this one so 90 plus 30 so 40 plus 90 130 130 plus 70 200 x plus 200 is equal to 360 then x is equal to 360 degrees minus 200 that equal to 160 degrees so here the x value 160 degrees this model problems already uh, we solved in the previous uh, class now 
Now, problems based on the parallelogram. Well, one of the problem is the measure of one side of a parallelogram. Thank you. The measure of one side of a parallelogram is one twenty degrees. Then find other angles. What he gave one of the angle one twenty degrees he gave one of the angle one twenty degrees he gave. So if it is A B C D parallelogram, A B C D is a parallelogram. According to the parallelogram property, opposite angles are equal. What is op opposite angle to A? That is C. A C A is equals to one twenty degrees. Is equals to C is e or simply angle A is equal to angle C is equals to one twenty degrees. Why these two are equal? Write down that one in the bracket. Opposite sides of a parallelogram. Opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. Angle A and angle C are opposite angles. In the question, he mentioned that is a parallelogram, so that's why opposite angles A is equal to C. Next term, what about the sum of? Uh, before that, solve this one. Angle A plus angle D is equal to 180 degrees. Why angle A plus angle D is equal to 180 degrees? Write that property in the bracket. Sum of adjacent Angles are equal to one eighty degrees. So this is which type of triangle? Pa uh, which type of quadrilateral? Parallelogram. So sum of adjacent angles of a parallelogram how much? One eighty degrees. So a value we have one twenty degrees plus angle D is equal to one eighty degrees. So angle D is equal to one eighty degrees minus one twenty equal to Sixteen. So third angle also we got. Then how you will find the fourth angle? Simple. Angle D is equal to angle B. Both of them equal. Why they are equal? Same property. What is the opposite angle to angle D? P. The those two are opposite angles. So here opposite angles are equal. Next term. Four angles we found. Next to second problem. What is the second problem here? Uh, in a triangle, both the opposite angles only he give. Opposite angles only he give. But he didn't give exact values of the angles. Just uh, he gave one of the angle is. 3x minus 3 degrees. Another angle, 50 minus x degrees. 50 minus x degrees. One is 3x minus 3 degrees. Another one is 50 minus x degrees. It is a A B C D parallelogram. So if A B C D is a parallelogram. Opposite angles are equal. Opposite sides are equal. Here, find the find the all the angles. Find all the angles. So two angles are given. Angle D equal to angle B. Why they are equal? Opposite angles are equal. Therefore, three x minus three degrees value equal to. Fifty minus x degrees. It is a parallelogram. That's why opposite angles are equal. Opposite angles means three x minus three degrees is equal to fifty minus x. Now use transportation method. Add constant to and variable same side. Three x plus other side negative x will become positive x. And this side fifty 
sorry here two similar question now 50 minus 2 will become plus 2 3x plus x 4x is equal 50 plus 2 52 x is equal to 52 by 4 4 1 the 4 13 the what is the x value 13 so find out uh, substitute the value of x in the first one or second one so if you substitute in the first one 3 into 13 minus 2 3 into 13 39 minus 2 37 you can substitute in the another one also 50 minus x means 50 minus 13 then also you will get 37 so this one we got 37 degrees substitute x value substitute x value in 3x minus 2 then 3 into 13 minus 2 39 minus 2 37 is the angle d angle d is equal to angle b is equal to 37 degrees now we need to find other two angles angle a and angle c angle a plus angle d is equal how much already in the previous problem we solved angle a and angle d is equal to sum of angle a and angle d 180 degrees why sum of sum of adjacent angles sum of adjacent angles is equal to how much 180 degrees so angle a is equal to 180 minus so this positive d value will become negative value so d value how much 37 180 minus 37 143 a value 143 then angle a is equal to angle c if angle a 143 angle c how much angle c also 143 degrees 37 143 and 37 143 these are the four angles next term third problem c problem in the c1 here is a parallelogram parallelogram A, B, C, D. Here is a parallelogram A, B, C, D. And here A, B, C, D parallelogram dimensions or side length. So one of the side A, B is equal to 6.2. Another side B, D is equal to 3.7. And angle how much given? Angle D is equal to 105 degrees. Now he is asking find other sides and uh, other angles. Simple. AB is equal to CD. AB is equal to CD. That is equal to 6.2. Why? Opposite sides are equal. So this one AB is equal to CD. Next to BD is equal to AC equal. Why? Opposite sides are equal so this one 3.7 then angle a is equal to angle d is equal to 105 degrees why they are equal opposite angles are equal sides equal angles equal now coming to c angle a plus angle c angle a plus angle c how much 180 degrees see early early here d is there d was there here now c is there don't see the alphabet just adjacent angles sum of adjacent angles in some other problems p q r s some other different different alphabets don't see the alphabet just see the location angle a and angle c is equal to 180 why adjacent angles of a quadrilateral quadrilateral a is a plus c is equal to 180 a is equals to 105 105 plus c is equals to 180 so angle c is equals to 180 minus 105 
180 minus 105 how much? 75 degrees. So angle C is equal to 75 degrees. Now angle C is equal to angle B. Why they are equal? Opposite angles are equal. So these are the four angles and four sides of the particular parallelogram. So some more problems also there. We will discuss in the next class.